holiday season and we're going to talk everything festive from catering to entertainment to planning and who better to talk with is people within the industry. It can be a stressful season, um, but definitely do things ahead. Uh, take advantage of your crock pot and pull out your punch bowl. Uh, you can mull wine or cider all day. Not only does it smell good, uh, but leave it up as a nice self-serve station. S'more stations are so much fun because it pulls in that outdoor cozy. Throw a bunch of fur rugs around, uh, shawls around, and everybody just cozies right in. want your guests in the holiday spirit from the second they arrive. So you can stage your porch with blankets and boots and some fresh cut greenery and uh, just don't leave that decor in the living room and kitchen alone. So the more candles you can do, the better your event. You'll get more atmosphere, add a fireplace in if you don't have one, add your white trees, mini lights, lots of light fabrics. Something my mother has done for years is a uh, feather garland and so you get a boa and you can tuck it in your tree or on your mantle and it really diffuses the light beautifully and it's a lot easier to wrestle than traditional ribbon. Florals, I'd stick with your big fluffy hydrangeas because they fill up bulk really easy. Um, you can do poinsettias which are quite cost effective. Greens, lots and lots of the mixed greens. You don't need a lot of flowers. A lot of mixed greens and then a few orchids and you've got a beautiful centerpiece. If you're going to have a dinner, have a cocktail hour beforehand so it lets people mingle and have a good time in advance and then also gives those latecomers a time to get in the door, especially if you're doing something right after work. A lot of the local markets, especially in Victoria, make it super easy for you all in one section to prepare everything. You put it on a beautiful wooden cutting board and you're good to go for an abbey. The classic kind of comfort foods aren't going anywhere and they're great to make ahead. Anything from a mini mac and cheese cup to uh, Anything with cheese seems to be very popular. A little um, sparkling wine with apple, with apple juice is amazing, so simple to put together and just delicious. When you're hosting, you never want your guests to leave empty handed. So I've brought along some fun, personalized, kind of cheeky glassware that they can use at the event and then take home with them as well. What are your suggestions with the playlist? Well, you know, Christmas is all about nostalgia and kind of warming the embers in your, in your heart a, a bit and making you feel like a kid again. So the throwbacks are always uh, quite nice, but you don't want to do too many throwbacks. It's always good to have some new music incorporated. You make it really easy here at the Delta by having some awesome holiday menus that are already pre-prepared with some great festive options. You know, your classic turkey, but with kind of a fun twist on it with some different seasonings. If you miss that early booking window, you can definitely get some great spaces if you book on an off-peak night. It's really great to maybe mix it up a bit if you can. Um, maybe bring in a DJ who can also do um, trivia. Um, bring a DJ in who um, maybe also has a spin-off with some karaoke because people like to sing at Christmas time. You know, so find something that works for you and see if it works for the DJ. What are the newest trends to wear for holiday parties? Oh, lots of sparkles and lace, um, dresses with little sheer bits and pieces, um, yeah, and bright colors. So Sharon, we're going to talk about holiday makeup. What is in for 2017? So for the upcoming holidays, for the eyes, gold glitter eyes. So using a black shadow and adding a glittery gold shadow in the middle. Kind of like how I did my eyes today, um, bronze and copper shimmer shades are also very in for the holiday sparkle. It's a new take on the evening smoky eye. Just loading up with mascara and really making that pop and putting a shiny gloss on, which could be like a plum or cranberry shade. It's beautiful and it gives that holiday vibe. The simplest thing you could do is dress up your classic black dress. Uh, accessorize, accessorize, accessorize. Everyone has a red lipstick, so just putting on a little bit of glittery gloss on top, putting some mascara on, and adding some more cheek sheen. 
So like I did here, I just added in and layered the shimmer to it. It's something quick and easy that you can do. Sometimes people are like, oh, a little nervous, but what should I wear to these big, you know, holiday functions? What do you suggest? Formal attire. And um, that comes in all kinds of shapes and forms, usually long. It can be very classic and simple uh, without any embellishments and let your accessories do the talking for you. Or you can come out with all over sparkle and glitter. It's all over the map. Hair, something like this is always easy to do. Put some quick curls in the hair, volumize it. The other thing is the poof is really in. You can back comb your hair, stick it in a low bun. It's an easy do that you can do with your five minute makeup style. We hope these tips from the experts within the event industry help you plan a stress-free holiday party. We do wish you a happy holiday season. I'm Tara Keeping with Community Producer.